Hi guys, today we'll be drawing fish and what you need is pretty simple. You just need a pencil and an eraser um, And let's go get started. So a disclaimer. I'm not um, An official artist by any means. This is just how I draw fish and how I draw fish for you guys when you guys want me to draw fish uh, so first of all, I will usually take a picture for reference uh, today I'm just gonna show you guys how to draw a dugo because I feel like uh, some fish in general is an easier shape to grasp when starting to draw fish and that bluegill is the one I started with because uh, as you he see here uh, we'll draw a slightly short in with football shape and then we'll basically draw a triangle at the end and uh, as I'm saying, this is the whole process when, uh, like, some fish assassin or some fish king, uh, they ask me to draw a fish, uh, and they want some fish uh, drawings. I just use the same process, except for I'm speeding this up a little bit for the sake of the video. Uh, I usually spend three to five hours on each of the drawings. And today, for this part of the video, we are going to do a sketch. Uh, we are going to do the coloring part in the in the part two of this video. Uh, so let's get started with uh, drawing the features of a fish. To start off, uh, we will try, you don't really need to worry about the shape because we can fix that later and we're drawing pencil, just draw pretty lightly uh, and then we'll outline the shape in the next video. So typically what you want to do is you want to look at the drawing and uh, determine the about where every single feature of a fish is and by feature i'm talking about like fins and uh the gill the heart uh and now we're just gonna fix the tail because uh the tail is a bit messed up as you see not fish don't have triangular tails i mean they kind of do uh, but we still need to fix that uh tail a good way to look at it is with uh length of the tail from uh top fin to a bottom fin is about the uh where the top of a fish body to a bottom of a fish body is so you could just use that as a reference line as you uh, see here uh, we don't need to like worry a lot about uh, everything just uh, sketch very lightly uh, and we'll be able to fix things later and i do a lot of erasing uh when i draw fish so uh it's okay if you are erasing a lot you aren't doing anything wrong uh, just take it slowly and you'll get it in the end and don't make your fish tail too small usually fish don't have very small tails and uh, also about fish shape uh, it kind of depends from area to area uh, so what I would suggest is look up a picture of the fish in your area. Like uh, I live in Oregon, I just use the bluegill they have on the sports regulation. Uh, and like Sunfish King is in Missouri, I asked him to send me a picture of his, punk, uh, I think, long ears. He wanted to draw me a long ear. And Sunfish Assassin, he uh, wanted me to draw a shell cracker. And uh, look at his photos of shell crackers he uh, caught in Georgia. Uh, so. Typically, you want a fish rat in your area, so your drawing looks more realistic, at least uh, to you. So we'll just fix the head part a little bit. The top of almost all sunfish is pretty much flat, and they curve back on the end of the tail, and I'll explain that later when we get into drawing uh, the dorsal fin. Same with the bottom. Uh, you kind of want it to curve in, and the other part is uh, pretty much flat, all the way up to the uh, mouth where it starts to get a little bit more curvy and bluegills have uh, the n to up to the nose and from the nose up to all the way on the back there are two different angles so make sure you get that into a drawing uh, it's something I struggle with a lot when I just started drawing fish so now we're fixing the one on the bottom and uh, you'll see why in just a minute and if you're drawing alone right now uh, you could just follow st steps uh, pause the video if you need to uh, give you guys uh, you can use as much time as you want we aren't hurrying anything so uh, the gill part is a little bit rounded so keep that in mind when you draw the bottom of the fish 
So now let's uh, get into the thing part. I think we have a body nail pretty good. Uh, since we're using pencil, we could still uh, mess around with it after uh, the drawing's done. Just erase the parts we need to and fix it uh, uh, a little at a time. Uh, so the dorsal fin, uh, the spiny dorsal fin starts about two-thirds away of fishing and it ends uh, at the end. And as you see, the fin is kind of curving, so that's why we left the curve on the body of a fish. And uh, you want to count the dorsal fin. Uh, it's around 9 to 10 on the uh, spiny dorsal fins and about 9 to 10 on the uh, soft dorsal fins. And it's about two thirds of a weighing of the fish body where the soft dorsal ends come in. So uh, it's not a very hard proportion, you just have to get used to it. And if it looks out of place to you, you could just tweak it around a little bit since we're doing this in pencil. So this is basically the, bo uh, the shape of the soft dorsal fin. And we'll start tracing the path for the spiny dorsal fin. A spiny dorsal fin is one of the harder uh, aspects of drawing fish. Um, you want to kind of map out the 10 spines like I am doing right here. Just give a little dot on each and then you want to draw the spines that uh, cover this dot and draw it lightly because you we might need to do a lot of racing later. Uh, the spiny dorsal fin start from a uh, short uh, shortest to tallest. Some uh some sunfish species have uh short shortened down near the end of spiny dorsal fin. Uh, bluegills typically don't have that, so we don't really want that. And connect the uh, spines together with uh lines with curved lines. And as you see here, I kind of did the end of a dorsal, shirt, the spiny dorsal fin wrong. So I'm just going to erase that. Uh, I drew it lightly so it didn't really matter. Um, and we're just going to make it longer. I kind of made it a little bit short. So uh, pretty much we are finished with the top of the fish now. Uh, there's around 9 to 10 soft dorsal fins too, so we'll just uh, lightly sketch that out uh, with light lines. And we'll color all of this in later. So any uh, lines that are helping you to grip a uh, proportion, uh, it should be covered up. If it bothers you, you can raise it after the sketch. So now uh, we're going to... Uh, sketch two lines that's going to help us uh, place the fins. Uh, basically, cover the body of a fish, not including the tail, uh, into three parts. Uh, and at the two thirds part, we're going to start drawing our anal fin. Anal fin, uh, pretty much all um, sunfish species and maybe even bass, uh, they have like uh, these two spiny, uh, two to three spiny dorsal fins. Uh, ain't no fins stick out and the rest is rounded. Um, make sure you do uh, the three ones sticking out don't two to three ones sticking out don't look too weird. Uh, like the spiny dorsal fins, we are just gonna connect them using a uh, line. So after that, we are just gonna shape our ain't no fin. Uh, it's. Like the soft dorsal fin, uh, I made it a little bit small. You can make it a little bigger. Uh, the uh, soft dorsal fin is uh, a pretty easy one, I think. And it's a pretty interesting one to draw too. So we're also going to just shade that little in with a uh, pencil. Light shade it. Uh, we'll all uh, fix the drawing later when we color it in. And now we're going to start... Uh, Doing the pelvic fins. Uh, the pelvic fins typically start around a third of the body. Um, the pelvic fin is going to be the longest fin uh, that's going to be the bottom of the drawing. So uh, you want to make it pretty long, and the pelvic fin itself is pretty long too. Uh, just uh, we're going to, uh, and be sure to draw another one in the back because there's two pelvic fins. Uh, pelvic fins and you kind of want to show that 
where's the front and back just lightly shaded in uh, I feel like I didn't do uh, do it really good let me uh, change that a little bit um so yeah uh, I feel like I need to curve that out a little bit so uh, let's do that so we're gonna curve that out a little bit um and yeah, as you see here, I'm erasing a lot. Whenever you mess up, you could just erase with pencil. That's uh, the great thing about pencils. Uh, and when you feel like uh, it, it looks right to you, you could just like finish it in. So uh, pretty much now we've got the whole outline of a fish done. Uh, what we need to do now is do the head, which I think is going to be the most difficult part when drawing fish. Uh, at least that is when I started. Um, the head is uh, very hard to grab a proportion of. Um, we're just going to start with this. Uh, as you see, this is not very accurate. The nose is rounded and all that stuff, but uh, we're going to fix that later. Uh, let's start with the eyes. So when drawing eyes, I'll typically draw two layers. Uh, and fish eyes are not really circular. They're a, like triangular oval. And the one in the middle, the one inside, you can just follow the outline of the fish. And uh, when I draw fish, you kind of want to leave a white part out. And that white part is going to indicate where the fish is looking at. And like this, I'm pointing like upwards in the front. And that's... Uh, after you color the other end in black, it looks like a fish is looking forward and upwards. So now, uh, let's fix the mouth a little bit. Actually, um, let's start with gills. Uh, I want to do with gills first. So we could get the uh, pectoral thing. So the pec uh, pectoral fin typically starts around where the pelvic fin is, uh, and it's behind the gills. So let's draw the gills first. Um, the gill typically goes halfway, a little over halfway of a fish body, and uh, the bluegill got that little uh, circular black uh, thing over its gills. I think it's called like a plate or whatever, a gill plate. And uh, that's about where we want to put the pectoral fins. They actually have very big fins. Uh, you just don't typically recognize it because it's very lightly covered bird. I feel like the pectoral fin is a little bit um, it's a little bit packed in the corner. I might need I might go um and fix the head a little bit. Yeah, let's do that. So yeah, a lot of erasing again. Um, let's stretch the head out a little bit farther so we will have more space to work with. Uh, and uh, that looks pretty good. Uh, and then we have that a uh, little up. We're gonna need to work more on the downsides. Okay, that looks perfect. Um, now we'll just draw the gills. Let's replace the eyes. The eyes is a little bit out of place. Um, as I see, uh, as I said, uh, head is pretty hard to get a hang of, at least for me. So yeah, that looks like a pretty good shape. So let's start uh, redrawing the eyes again. As you see here, there's a change in the angle, and that's usually where the eye is located. Uh, again, it's not very a uh, circle. It's more an oval with like a triangle feel to it, and then inside you just kind of loop the outside. And this time I have my uh white part looking backwards, and then the fish kind of looks like it's looking backwards. Um, here's the gills. Oh, oopsies. Uh, I did it too much on the gills. You typically only want two to three light lines down there to represent the gills. So. But gill play, you could little, emphasize it a little bit more. You really want light eyes for the gills. Okay, perfect. Now let's draw a little play thing or blue gill uh, and shade it in. 
so that looks pretty good right now um and now let's start with a pectoral fins uh the pectoral fins kind of go up all the way to where the uh, gill play is and then down there uh, you kind of want a little band to go down this is the shape a bluegill pectoral fin usually is and uh, now with that done let's go fix uh, I feel like there's still something out of place with this bluegill uh, Oh yeah, we need to fix the mouth first, I think. So let's do that. Um, so I'm just gonna give it an open mouth. An open mouth is usually easier and looks more natural. Um, so do that and then we'll add the lips, which is basically outlining the mouth. And then the lips, you wanna extend it to the jaws. After that, we'll start, uh, there's another, uh, kind of like a right angle plate on the, between the eyes and the gill plate. So we'll try to emphasize that. So there's a little thing connecting it. Um, I feel like I put a little more out, erase a layer, but, uh, that's good a reference point. So we'll just go down straight, uh, and then, uh, nah, that didn't look good. It's a little bit too tight. This looks weird. Um, I think I need the straight line to go down a little bit more to the jaws are, to where the jaws are. I think that might look better. And the reason why fish head are so hard to draw is because we've got so many bones on there, especially on the plates. Um, where's this part that sticks out? Okay, I think we got it. Um, let's erase the uh, upper part a little bit more. I think I bought it a little too much. We just need to lightly curve this in and uh, it will be good. Okay, now let's finish it off with a uh, lateral line and uh, Bluegills actually have these uh, vertical bars, so uh, we're gonna try to do the vertical bars now. So about 10 vertical bars. Um, let's shave it in the tail a little bit before we do that. Uh, about 10 vertical bars starting from the gill play and ending all the way at the end of the tail. Uh, so kind of space that out evenly. Uh, do above the lateral line because uh, the vertical bars kind of like fade very lightly after it and you just need a like very very soft strokes with pencil to kind of emphasize on that as you see here uh, just like scratch it lightly you'll get the bars and uh, after that uh, I feel like this looks pretty good Maybe uh, fix the tail. I feel like the tail is a little bit more like upright. Uh, it looks like a fish is turning, which uh, is not a bad thing. If you want like make a fish look, it's like doing some sort of motion. Sure, uh, but like this for this purpose, we're just kind of drawing it like a straightforward bluegill. So we're just gonna lay the tail flat. Um, as I said, just make a triangular one and uh, the bottom of the tail fin and the top of the tail fin typically uh, use the height of the body of a bluegill as a reference fin print, uh, point sorry can talk straight now and uh, we have this little round part that closed off from a body to a tail and let's just slightly shade it in with some uh, light lines uh, that's pretty much part one of this video uh, if you like it please subscribe like and share Wait for part two. Thank you.